Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 31st of 2025 is titled Supernova 2025 RBS in NGC 7331. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the main image is of the spiral galaxy known as NGC 7331. And that is a galaxy much like our own Milky Way. So it is a similar type and style of galaxy to the one that we live in. Now, noted there at the center that is marked is the supernova known as SN 2025RBS. Now, supernovae are named by a specific convention that has the SN for supernova, then the year, and then they start off with the letters. So the first supernova would be have just a capital A and would run capital A through the 26th one being capital Z. And then it will continue with lowercase letters, starting off with pairs. So AA and AB and so on. And then when they finish those up, we go to three letters. And as you can see, we're already into the R's here in July. So we'll hit four letters uh, before the end of the year. So lots and lots of supernovae are being discovered. So why are we pointing out this specific one? Well, it happens to be in a galaxy relatively nearby and therefore is the brightest supernova uh, that is currently in the sky. Now, as in nearby, it's about 50 million light years away. And while that may seem like a great distance, really, galactically speaking, that's relatively close. That's one of the more nearby galaxies. Now, the supernova itself is what is known as a type 1a supernova. These are very important to astronomers because they are key distance indicators. A type 1a supernova occurs when a white dwarf star collects mass from a companion and be pushes over its mass limit. There is a limit to how massive any object can be. And if you push it over that limit, it collapses. So you can think of it as a rickety old table and you start stacking books on it. Well, eventually you're going to put one too many books on it and it's going to collapse. Well, you eventually put one too many atoms on this white dwarf and you push it over its mass limit and it then starts to detonate. So it just detonates in a massive thermonuclear explosion, destroying the entire star. So that's what we're seeing is that entire star exploding there and it will be bright for a matter of weeks to, a, to months and then will slowly fade. So in this case, with its distance, we're only going to see it near its peak. But this is still very important because how bright it gets depends on how far away it is. And the key to this is that every single star that becomes a type 1a supernova is exactly the same. They are all white dwarf stars and they are all exactly the same mass because they've just been pushed over their limit. And that means that we can calculate how bright they should get. We can measure how bright it appears and that allows us to determine distances. So these type 1a supernovae, such as the one we see today, are very important for measuring and calibrating our cosmic distance scale to measure distances to far off galaxies. So that was our picture of the day for July 31st of 2025. It was titled Supernova 2025 RBS in NGC 7331. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.